Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa. And today's video is a video that I've never done before, so it's going to be super exciting, I hope. <laughs> but today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I just wanted to do a basic Q&A where you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So I found online searching a couple questions and I narrowed it down to, I think, like 17 of my favorite questions. And then on top of that, on Instagram, I asked a few of you guys some questions that you've always wanted to ask me. So I chose my top three questions as well, making this a 20 question Q&A on how you guys can get to know me a little bit better. So question one, what is your background slash nationality? Basically, I am born in Canada. I was born and raised here, so I've lived here all my life. My mom was also born in Canada, but her parents were of course born in Italy and they came here later on and had my mom here and the rest of her siblings. Now my dad is also Italian but he was actually born in Italy and he came here when he was super super young. So both my parents are Italian but they were raised in Canada so I guess they have a little bit of like the best of both worlds going on and in turn so do I. So I guess I would be like a third generation Italian Canadian. <laughs> Question number two, how tall are you? So that's actually an interesting question. I wonder how tall I appear to you guys, but I am basically a five foot seven. I think I'm like just shy of being a five foot seven, but that's the easiest answer. Cats or dogs? This is an interesting question because I feel like some people are so either way, like you're either cats or dogs. And now I have a love for like all animals, so I really do find cats to be such interesting and cool creatures, but I'm a dog girl. <laughs> You might see little Luna behind me <laughs> chewing on a little bone here. I'm definitely a dog girl. I've loved dogs all my life. When I was young, I would beg my parents, please get me a dog, and they finally caved in, and I haven't looked back ever since. I can't remember not having a dog in my life, so definitely dogs. How many countries have you visited? Wow, this is a hard question. I feel like I should have prepared for these questions a little bit. I would have to list them off and like, hopefully I don't miss anything. Okay, so basically I'm in Canada, so that doesn't count. I of course have visited many places within the United States, so that's one. And I have seen a lot of Europe, so definitely Italy is another one. I've seen almost from the north all the way to the south of Italy, and I've seen so many cities in Italy, so definitely Italy. I've been to Spain, I have been to France, I have been to Belgium, I have been to Luxembourg, I've actually been to Greece, and I have also been, believe it or not, to Germany. Not very many people would know that, but I've been to Germany as well. Oh gosh, am I forgetting one? I really hope that I'm not. Question number five. What was your favorite slash what was your worst subject in high school? Okay, so my favorite subject would have to have been art, anything artistic related, art and photography. I really love those subjects. And the worst subject in high school, I mean, I hated math and science and things like that, though now, later on in life, I have an appreciation for those subjects, but those were my two definitely least favorite subjects in school. The funny thing about math is that when I was growing up, the teachers would always tell you like, you have to know this, you're not gonna have a calculator in your hand at all times, but look, on our phones we have a calculator anyway, so really. <laughs> Question number six, what is your favorite perfume? That is kind of an easy question, even though I love perfume and like there are certain types of perfume that I manage to usually get when I go to Italy and things like that. There are certain scents that I like for the summertime versus wintertime and all that, but if I had to pick a favorite perfume that is just like my number one, I never get sick of the smell, it is definitely Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior, I believe. It is just my favorite scent. Question number seven, tea or coffee? <laughs> I feel like if I were to have been asked this question like even five years ago, I would have definitely said tea. I wasn't a huge coffee drinker and I think it's because I'm not a huge fan of like the Canadian or American coffee but I love like espressos and cappuccinos and like lattes and things like that. So I am definitely maybe even more of a coffee person. 
I mean, I can't say that because I love tea too. Sometimes I'll have tea literally just plain, nothing in it. Otherwise, I really love Earl Grey tea, putting like honey and cream in it, so good. Okay, but if I had to choose since, to be fair, I would say I'm a coffee person just because I definitely at least have one coffee a day for sure. And that's not always the case with tea, so probably coffee. But I mean, it's almost 50-50 really, guys. Question number eight. What would you or have you name or named your children? So I don't have any children, but if I had to pick a name, I always struggled with girl names. I could never think of a good girl name, so I honestly still can't. But if I had to pick a name for my child and if I had a boy, I would definitely pick Julian. I've always loved the name Julian. I thought it was such a nice name. I've loved it ever since I was a little kid. And even though Jules might think it's like an homage to her, Julia and Julian, <laughs> I really just love that name. So definitely Julian for a son. Daughter, I'm not sure. Question number nine, what is your favorite book? This is the kind of question that I wish I would have prepared for much in advance because I feel like I've been on such a reading kick this year. My goal is to read 25 books and I've already read 23. So it's almost like messing with my mind as to how many like books I've read and what were my absolute favorites. Okay, so let's start off. I will say that definitely my favorite book is The Time Traveler's Wife. The only book I can ever remember reading that after the fact, I literally cried like days later. Thinking about like the main character, I just cried, I would burst into tears. It was just such a brilliant book, a very unique storyline. That is definitely my favorite book of all time for sure. But I also have to mention the book Shantaram or Shantaram, however you want to pronounce that. This book is based on this man's story, his journey, and it is incredible. And it is filled with so much wisdom and it is just such a deep book. And the fact that it was real just made it like, I, I couldn't believe that. This book has to be a movie. I don't know if it's in the works, but it would be a brilliant movie. So The Shantaram. And another one that I will have to mention, I really love The Little Prince. How could anyone not love The Little Prince? It is the kind of story that is easy enough to read if you're super young and then when you're older and you read it, there are certain things that just have a, a different meaning to you. I guess on a different stage of your life, whenever you read this book, it just has a different effect and a meaning to you. So without getting too long into this question, those are definitely my top three favorite books, but of course The Time Traveler's Wife would be number one. Number 10. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? <laughs> this was a really good question. I really love Vincenzo's plate. He is a good friend of mine that I've never met, but he has always been following me on Instagram and vice versa. So he's just a great YouTuber. He posts amazing Italian recipes. So check him out. Everyone that I mentioned, I will try to list down below. So check out my description box as well. I love Vincenzo's plate. He's great. I also really love Kendall Ray because she makes amazing like conspiracy theory videos and where are videos, sort of like the more mysterious videos. She's great in terms of astrology as well. Love her videos as well. And then to mention a last person who's not necessarily a YouTuber yet is my sister, Julia Zalur. <laughs> She'll be coming to YouTube soon, guys. She has a channel up, but she hasn't posted her first video. We are working on that. So I feel like by the end of this year, she will have a video up. Number 11, what is your favorite movie? Guys, I feel like these questions are just weighing so heavy on me because I can't answer with one answer. Like there are so many good movies. The first one that comes to mind is of course The Notebook. But guys, it was a brilliant movie. So good. I hate to sound basic saying this, but The Notebook was amazing. And I just feel like we need more romance movies and there really are not enough good romance movies without being like so corny and like, overplayed and you know just like we need a really good romance is it so hard to make there should be more movies like the notebook gosh another one at the top of my head i have to say is the movie her that movie really really affected me it was the kind of movie that i wasn't really sure of going into it and i remember thinking with my sister i was like let's just put it on and see what happens and as we're watching it, it just hit me and i was so into the movie and i was like completely just in love with the characters everything was so relatable and it was just such a beautiful and unique storyline. And I just feel like Joaquin Phoenix was amazing in that movie. So definitely that movie hurt. An even newer movie this year that I would say I absolutely loved was Call Me By Your Name. That movie, another one, I put it on with my sister. I wasn't necessarily sure what to expect. By the end of the movie, you know, it just it gets you, like it pulls on your heartstrings and the acting in these movies are just brilliant. So. Those movies were just so good. I mean, I know that there's gonna be so many more movies that come to me and I'm just, I, 
I can't, I can't even think of them, but those are definitely my favorite movies. And I should also mention that I love The Matrix. <laughs> I love the first one especially, but that whole trilogy just like blew my mind. So definitely those movies. But if I had to pick a favorite movie, I really, I don't think it could happen. And of course a comedy, let's just throw it in there, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> Question number 12, are you single or taken? I am of course taken. I'm in a relationship. You've probably already seen my boyfriend in my videos. Hi, Bubs! <laughs> I know that he's watching right now, so I just want to say hi. So yes, I'm taken and we have been together for almost three years so far. Number 13, what is your idea of an ideal first date? This is such an interesting question, but I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't really have like an ideal first date in my mind because I also want to be realistic about things. So I'm not going to say like, oh, being flown off to Paris and wined and dined under the Eiffel Tower. Like, no, I'm just going to say something so simple, but my ideal first date would have to be anything that would involve us like getting to know each other better. So even if it's just over dinner, talking and getting to know one another, or if you have like a cute little picnic plan, so I guess like a movie wouldn't necessarily be a good first date because you couldn't really talk to that person. Anything that would involve talking, I know that like dinners and picnics involve eating and sometimes on a first date like you lose your appetite, at least I definitely do a little bit so <laughs> maybe it's not ideal but that's for sure would be a great first date. Just anywhere where you can get to know someone. Number 14, do you speak any different languages and how well? Well, other than English, <laughs> I speak Italian. I wouldn't say that I am fluent in Italian by any means, but I wouldn't say that I'm horrible either. I have, of course I have the Italian background and upbringing, but it's not like my parents really taught me much Italian growing up. I remember there was baby videos of me counting in Italian like up to 10, and like they would ask me certain questions in Italian and I would respond a bit, but they never really reinforced the Italian speaking language. And later in life I would get mad at my parents and say, why didn't you teach me more Italian? I would have loved it. But I will say that through my travels and visiting Italy and falling in love with the country, I just made it a point to learn and you know, I was in situations where I had to speak Italian and it was just great for me. So I feel like I am, now I would say I could speak 75% pretty well and I understand 100%. I of course suck when it comes to grammar. Sometimes I mess that up a lot in Italian, but I really do understand everything. I'm just a little bit shy when it comes to speaking another language because I feel like not just like your voice, but even like your personality can change a bit when you're speaking in another language. Number 15, do you have any siblings? And yes, I feel like a lot of you guys who have been following me would probably know this, but if this is your first time here, you might not know that I have two sisters. I have an older sister, Jen, and I have a younger sister, Jules, that I also live with. So we are all super, super close. In fact, Jen even lives in the same building as me. So we are very close. We've always been close sisters. And I just love my sister so much. I'm the middle child, so I have middle child syndrome. Though we are very close. We're even pretty close in age, which is really nice. So we all get along great. And I feel like certain sisters are good for certain times of my life. Right now, if I wanted to like I don't know, go out and maybe have fun, I'd call Jen, but if I just, same thing with Jules of course, but if I need Jules and I need someone to talk to and a shoulder to cry on, like Jules is always there for me. We are super close, some people even just, I'm not my own entity anymore. Sometimes they just refer to me and Jules as they or them because we're basically the same person. But yes, I have two sisters and I love them very much and equally. Okay, question number 16. How would you describe your fashion sense? This is an interesting question because I do tend to make also some kind of like hauls and sometimes fashion videos. Not that I would consider myself a fashionista by any means and I'm not always like keeping up with the trends. I tend to just go with whatever I like personally and whatever goes good on me. So even if certain things are in, if I can't pull it off, I don't bother. I have to be comfortable, that's for sure. If I'm uncomfortable, I probably won't even wear an outfit no matter how good it looks. I'm not a huge risk taker but I do tend to not stick with a certain style so I'm not like always super chic and polished and I'm not like always grubbing it or like super sporty style. I would say that I take a bit of everything and sort of try to combine that as well. I guess that's a hard question to answer but maybe you guys can tell me what you think. Question number 17, tell us one of your bad habits. I have quite a few bad habits I would probably say if I had to speak on like a sort of like mental perspective, I would say that definitely a bad habit of mine is my tendency to overthink. 
I'm constantly overthinking, I'm always in my own head, and even being sensitive in this case can be a bad habit because sometimes I'm overly sensitive and I wish I just knew how to like let things go and to stop being in my own head and sometimes you can create problems where there doesn't need to be. But on the plus side, I feel like being a sensitive has given me like a really good sense of intuition and I could almost like, not that anyone's really a bad person, but I can almost sort of feel like a bad vibe in the air or spot someone who maybe doesn't have like the best interests in mind for me. I guess that's really helped throughout my life, but I would say that's sort of a bad habit too because I almost wish I was more easygoing in that sense, even though I'm a super easygoing and chill person. I feel like when it comes to being in my own head, I wish I was more easygoing. Now we're going to, into questions that my Instagram audience has asked me because I had a little poll and I said ask me questions and I chose my top three favorite questions that I felt like would be good for a quiz like this, just like a general get to know me quiz. So let's start off with the first question, number 18. Out of all the places you travel to, which place would you want to live in? And I thought that was such a great question and I guess it's so appropriate for my Instagram because it's very like travel inspired. If I could see myself living anywhere other than Canada or like an English speaking country, I would definitely live in Italy, specifically Rome. That city, especially that country, but that city has my heart. I love it. Of course, much like any country that you haven't grown up in, you're going to find challenges being lost in translation and sometimes just people of that specific country or city or region, what have you, sometimes they can get on your nerves because they're just different. And like, I feel like, could I ever, look at little Luna, she's so cute. I feel like, could I ever see myself living there? Yes, but I know that I would have to face some challenges. So to answer your question, definitely Rome. Number 19, someone asked me this and I laughed because it's almost like an inside joke, but someone said, would you say you are more of an introvert or an extrovert? And this is so funny because my sister and my cousin, we have like an ongoing joke that we're all introverts. <laughs> and we kind of are in a way, which is super funny, but I would say that I'm definitely more of an introvert, 100%, and that might not come across here on YouTube so much because and I'm actually super comfortable in front of the camera. I don't really know why, but I just am. But in my everyday life, if you got to know me, I feel like it would take you a while to get to know me and I can come across as maybe like shy or reserved sometimes. Sometimes I'm like super outgoing and like I can also be the life of a party by any means. But I would definitely say I'm very introverted. I hate when people ask me questions. I don't want to, <laughs> ironic, doing this like interview. <laughs> All these questions. I just hate being asked questions about my personal life. I'm a very private person and I'd much rather listen I'm definitely more of a listener than a speaker. I also really love to be alone and I need my alone time Sometimes I can get a little bit kooky if I am not alone enough Some people are like the complete opposite and I guess you get kooky if you feel like you're not going out enough or socializing enough But I am the opposite. I need to be I need my alone time. I need to be left alone I'm introverted, so if I'm not in the right mood, you know, I won't be like my best self. <laughs> so number 20, somebody said, do you have a celebrity crush? If so, who is it? <laughs> That's pretty cute. I feel like my celebrity crushes, I don't really keep a secret from people who know me. So number one, I will definitely say my huge celebrity crush, and he's been for quite a few years now, is Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I absolutely adore him. The man is so humble and so sweet. I'm ignoring Luna, she's getting upset. I'm sorry, bubs. So yes, definitely Keanu Reeves. I just feel like he's such a good human being without knowing someone. I just get the feeling that he is just such a sweet and humble guy and he has a certain depth to him that I really appreciate. And he just, he's just like an all around great guy. I mean, how could you not love Keanu Reeves? The next celebrity crush, I would have to say, would be Elon Musk. I just find him to be so attractive because he's a genius. He's so smart. He's basically like the, inventor of our time which is amazing his motivation for just wanting to do more and more and just his love of space and everything elon musk next celebrity crush and another one without going into things so much because i feel like i'm so long-winded here last celebrity crush would be noah centineo i feel like everyone pronounces this name wrong <laughs> Even him, I feel like it's Cintineo because he's Italian. Definitely him, he's more recent, he's super young, okay? So you can see I don't really have a type here, but he is just such a cutie and I feel like his personality is so wise and deep for such a young guy. I feel like he's 
definitely crush worthy and I feel like most girls have celebrity crushes on him so who am I? <laughs> Not unique in this case but definitely him so yeah that's it. But I guess if I do another q and A, I I should ask you guys here on YouTube and if you've stuck around this long it means you're actually interested in me and want to get to know me so if you can ask me a question that I haven't answered in this Q&A and I will be happy to answer that for you in a future Q&A and if you guys of course did like this Q&A don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I will have many more videos to come in the future so I'll just say this was so fun to answer especially for an introvert like me I actually enjoyed these questions I thought that they were super cute without getting like overly personal <laughs> but they were super nice and I hope that this gave you guys more of a sense on who I am and it let you get to know me a bit better. So thank you guys so much for watching and of course I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!